Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV, and this is my movie review for Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, Marvel is as hot as a supernova now, coming off a decade of hits like Avengers, Captain America, and Thor. With Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel takes us in new directions, with relatively unknown characters set in worlds far from Earth. This story is based on the Guardians of the Galaxy comics from 2008. But the original Guardians comics first appeared way back in 1969. Our main hero is Jason Quill, but he would prefer you could dress him as Star-Lord. The film takes some time to develop, and we learn there is tragedy and regret in his life. This is an opportunity for you parents to take your child aside and tell them it's okay to be afraid sometimes. Anyway, Star-Lord is played by actor Chris Pratt. Many fans here will know him as the voice of Cooper on Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. Star-Lord is wisecracking, he's got some uh, embarrassing dance moves, and he's not too cool to show some affection for a lady on his team. Jason Quill does have some behavior problems, and I'm giving it alert for obscene, sophomoric gestures. Rocket Raccoon is genetically engineered to be cute. He's a bounty hunter and a weapons expert. The animations on this guy are outstanding. I really, I stopped thinking of it as an animation. Rocket is voiced by actor Bradley Cooper, and adults will know him from the Hangover movies. You kids, just don't worry about those movies. They are for adults. Rocket has teamed up with a walking tree called Groot, who is the muscle of the two. Together, some will be reminded of Master Blaster from Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Groot is voiced by Vin Diesel of XXX and Fast and Furious fame. The film gets a lot of attention for that, but in fact, Vin Diesel has essentially one line, which is repeated through the whole movie. The female member of the team is Gamora, who's been forced into a life as an outlaw. Gamora is played by Zoe Saldana. You might remember her as Ohura from Star Trek. In that movie, she was always trying to smooch on Spock. In Guardians, there's something of an interest between Jason Quill and Gamora, but kids, you can breathe easy. I guarantee there is no smooching in this movie. Funny thing is now she's green, so maybe Captain Kirk will want to date her because he likes green ladies. Zoe Saldana also appears in the Avatar movies, so she goes from green to blue, so that's kind of weird. Rounding out the team is the brutish Drax, played by Dave Bautista. You kids know him as the animal in WWE, and clearly there's no need for CGI enhancement on this guy. These are characters you're going to like. Star-Lord and Rocket are wisecracking. They don't take themselves seriously. Groot is goofy, kind, and caring. And Drax and Gamora take themselves way too seriously. Visually, I was stunned by this movie. We see vast, colorful nebula, detailed interiors of ships, and Earth-like landscapes. The insides of the ships are well-crafted, and the interior of Star-Lord's ship, the Milano, so there's a couple of decks that give a feeling of a full three-dimensional space. I particularly like that the views through the cockpit windows were full. Looking out, you see in several directions, up and down to the sides, like in a helicopter almost. The soundtrack is nostalgic for adults since Star-Lord is fond of 80s pop hits. Here's a little bit of a spoiler. After this movie, a lot of people are going to look up the movie Footloose. The violence I had some issues with. The movie is appropriately rated PG-13, but look at these toys. Younger kids will want to play with these, and they'll want to see the movie, and they'll be able to get to it, of course, once it comes to DVD. Now, like In movies like the Transformers, I guess it's okay to chop characters up because they're, they're robots, right? Well, now I guess it's okay because they're aliens. A couple of key characters in this movie lose limbs, uh, and it truly shocked the audience I was with. So be advised... This movie is way too intense for younger children. All in all, I was thoroughly entertained by this movie. I can't wait to see what mission they have next. Maybe a crossover with the Avengers. After all, Iron Man was a part of the original Guardians of the Galaxy team way back in 1969. So this is my first ever movie review. I hope you liked it. And look, I've got a ton of toys to talk about here in Guardians Week. So you better hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a good day. Kill me, I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions, just an empty head filled with the sky. I separated my life.
between the boring